Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungson, Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, on this second day of our novena, in preparation for the installation of the new Archbishop of Manila, we celebrate this Mass in honor of all the holy apostles, because the bishop, is the successor to the Apostles. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist. Let us call to mind our sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your church always exalt, O Lord, in the honor given through the ages to the blessed apostles, that she may be guided by these protectors, in whose teaching and merits she finds joy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each must do as already determined without sadness or compulsion. For God loves a cheerful giver. Moreover, God is able to make every grace abundant for you, so that in all things, always having all you need, you may have an abundance for every good work. As it is written, He scatters abroad, He gives to the poor, His righteousness endures forever. The one who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed and increase the harvest of your righteousness. You are being enriched in every way for all generosity, which through us produces thanksgiving to God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Bless the man who fears the Lord. Bless the man who fears the Lord. Bless the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. Bless the man who fears the Lord. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. His generosity shall endure forever. Light shines through the darkness for the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. Bless the man who fears the Lord. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His generosity shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. Bless the man who fears the Lord. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right is doing so that your almsgiving may be secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on street corners so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. 
But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, so that you may not appear to others to be fasting, except to your Father who is, in, who is hidden, and your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, our readings today highlight the value of sincerity. In our first reading, St. Paul talks about giving. He was exhorting the church in Corinth, the Christians in Corinth, to be generous in giving donation to the church of Jerusalem. And he told them that in giving, there must be no sadness. In giving, we must not be moved by compulsion. We must give wholeheartedly because St. Paul says, God loves a cheerful giver. Nagbibigay ng hindi nakasimangot, nagbibigay ng hindi napipilitan sapagkat ang Diyos ay nalulugod sa isang taong nagbibigay ng masaya. The sincerity of giving could be measured in the joy that accompanies the giving. For if a person gives and that person is sad as he gives, would you say that the giving is authentic? If a person gives simply because he was forced to do so, would you say that that giving comes from the heart? Kapag may taong nagbibigay pero nakasimangot naman, nagbibigay pero mabigat naman sa kanyang loob ang kanyang pagbibigay, totoong pagbibigay ba iyon? Kapag may isang taong nagbibigay at sinasabi niyang, eh, pinilit lang naman ako, kaya ako na pag nagbibigay. Sasabihin natin, eh, di sana hindi ka na lang nagbigay. Hindi naman pala bukal sa iyong puso. And so, when we are sincere in giving, there is joy in giving. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate this Mass in honor of all the holy apostles because today, as we continue our novena in preparation for the installation of our new Archbishop, Cardinal Jose Advincula, we pray for him because the bishop is the successor to the apostles. And we all know that almost all the apostles died a martyr's death. They all offer their lives to Jesus. In fact, at the moment when Jesus called them to be his apostles, they left everything in order to follow Jesus. And they were happy in giving up everything for Jesus. That is why we could see the sincerity in their hearts as they gave their life to Jesus. In our Gospel, Jesus also talks about sincerity in the things that we do. If we, if we give alms, let us be sincere. Let us give alms because we want to help others and not because we want other people to praise us. If we pray, be sincere. Pray because you want to talk to God. 
pray because you want to commune with God and not to show people how holy you are. If you fast, then be sincere. Fast because you want to undergo penitence and not to show people how good you are. Kung tayo'y magbibigay ng limos, kung tayo'y magdarasal at mag-aayuno, tiyakin natin na ginagawa natin sa tamang hangarin, hindi dahil nagpapakitang tao lamang. Dahil yung pakitang tao, hindi sincere, hindi nang gagaling sa puso. Let us be sincere. My dear brothers and sisters, today we ask ourselves, am I sincere in the things that I do? Am I genuine? Am I authentic? O baka yung pinapakita ko, pakitang tao lamang, palabas lamang, pretensions lamang. Am I sincere? Remember, my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus tells us in the Gospel, the Father sees what is hidden. The Father sees what is secret. And so, the Father sees all. He sees our intentions. He sees our hearts. And therefore, let us be sincere always. Please stand. Let us pray today to, to the God of truth and love for truthfulness and sincerity in the church and in the world. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may take to heart the task and the mission of renewal so that Christ may be clearly perceived by all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That priests and religious may be assiduous proclaimers of the gospel through their witness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That civic and community leaders may be sincere and unselfish in their effort to bring justice, dignity, and unity to the people they are called to serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That the sick and those who find life burdensome may see God's special love and care through the concern of their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That the dead may enjoy God's everlasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. God our Father, help us to love and to serve you in spirit and truth. Through Jesus, who is our way to you, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
please stand? Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Pour out on us, Lord, your Holy Spirit, whom you poured in abundance upon the apostles, that we may recognize what you have given us through them and duly offer the sacrifice of praise to your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love. And when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and gave you thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity, among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Lord, renew your church, which is in Manila, 
by the light of the gospel. Strengthen the bond of unity between the faithful and the pastors of your people. Together with Francis R. Pope and Broderick our Administrator and the whole order of bishops, that in a world torn by strife, your people may shine forth as a prophetic sign of unity and concord. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Amid them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under, under my Lord, roof, but, but only, only say, say the, the word, word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand.
Let us pray. Grant that we may persevere, O God, with rejoicing and simplicity of heart in the teaching of the apostles, in the breaking of the bread, and in the prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now all together pray the prayer of gratitude for the gift of our new Archbishop. Lord Jesus Christ, Good Shepherd and High Priest, we praise you and offer you our sincere gratitude for calling Cardinal Jose Advincula to serve as our Archbishop. May he lead us as a loving shepherd who cares for his flock and seeks out the lost sheep. May he be for us a gentle and listening father, a faithful teacher, and a steward of your sacred mysteries. Give him health, strength, and wisdom. Strengthen the bonds of unity among us, your priests and faithful in our archdiocese, so that we may serve you as one body. Purify us and sustain us in charity, for your love for us never fails. Grant that the faithful of our local church may boldly answer your call to mission. You who live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Let us also pray the prayer on the seventh day of the Novena to Our Lady of Antipolo. Mahal na ina at reyna ng mag-anak na Pilipino, na natili sa iyong sinapupunan ang iyong anak noong siya ay nagkatawang tao. Nakatagpo siya ng pagmamahal sa iyong kandungan at pag-aalaga. Ipanalangin mo kami sa kanyang biyaya at nang kami maging pahingahan ng kanyang pag-ibig at gayon din naman kanyang ipagkaloob ang hinihingi namin sa pagsisiyam na ito kung ito'y ukol sa kapurihan ng Diyos at kagalingan ng kaluluwa namin. Amen. Amen. We invite you tonight to our weekly Healing Rosary for the World. Our host this evening will be the parish community of St. Anthony of Padua Parish in Singalong, Manila. And our rosary will be led by the parish priest, Father Benny Tuazon. And so let us gather tonight at 9 o'clock to pray the rosary as God's family and as the children of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. years of faith, grateful today, we bear the gift of mission, totally yours we give ourselves, faithfully yours until the end, to your mission, Lord, we give our yes.